हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एसक्यूएल सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट 40 फर्स्ट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट राइट एसक्यूएल क्वेरी टू प्रिंट द डिजायर्ड आउटपुट एज शोन बिलो बाय यूजिंग टू टेबल्स दैट इज द इनपुट टेबल दैट इज एम्प्लॉई टेबल एंड मंथ टेबल इफ यू सी द employee table we have four columns namely serial number name month id and the amount column so for the month id one john has received 1000 amount and for the month id two john has received 3000 amount similarly for uh, david david has received 4000 uh, in the month of uh, month id three and uh, yeah, David has received 2000 in the month ID 5. Now, there is another table, month underscore table, and it has column month ID and the corresponding month in the month field. Now, we have to, we have to derive another table by using employee table and month table, which will have the, um, uh, the column serial number, name, month, and the amount. So, if you see the John, John has has received 1000 amount uh, in the month ID 1. So month ID 1 corresponds to January. So January he has, so we are showing January 1000, February 3000. And rest all the months we are showing null because John has not received any amount in any other month. Similarly, for David, David has received 4000 in month ID 3 that is March and 2000 in the month ID 5 that is May. So we can clearly see that uh, David has received uh, uh, 4000 amount in the month of March and 2000 in the month of May and in all other months he has not received any amount that's why it is showing null. So this is the out desired output what we are expecting. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. We can solve this problem in SQL Server by using CTE that is common table expression. So before writing the solution, let's see our input table. So I'm going to select a star from both the table. Sorry, I have to select both the table. So yeah, you can see the table structure and the value in the in the employee table and the month table. So I'm going to start with with clause. So with let's say ct table name as ct underscore m as we'll open the bracket and then I'm going to select a star from employee table employee table will give alias is E and from this table I'm going to select the relevant columns which I need so I need E dot serial number comma E dot E dot name I want anything else in no I don't want anything any other columns after that I'm going to do a cross join cross join with month table so I'm going to put month table and will give alias as M and I will close the bracket but we want to select select some column from the month. So I'm going to select M dot month ID comma M dot month both the columns we want from this table. So if I run if I see what this CT table returns will do select star from CT underscore M if I run this will get 4 into 12 48 rows will get because it will give the cross product you can see 48 rows has come so it will return the cross product of both the table that is each row of the first table will combine with the each row of the second second table and it will give so if you will observe each value is getting repeated two times it is coming see john 1 jan 
John 1 Jan, John 2 Feb, John 2 Feb. So what we have to do? We have to do distinct. So if I run now, I'll get 24 rows. So we got 24 rows, 12 rows for John from Jan to December and 12 rows for David from Jan to December. Now our half work is done. Now what we need is extra, we need extra one column over here, amount column uh, with the corresponding values. So how we can achieve that? That we can achieve by using left join with the employee table and from there we will fetch the employee, uh, sorry amount. So I am going to do left join, left join with employee table will give alias as E and will give alias for CTM underscore M as C and I'm going to join both the table C dot C dot serial number C dot serial number is equal to E dot serial number and what else c dot i left on and c dot month id is equal to e dot month id after that, I have to select relevant columns. So, what are the columns we have to select? C dot serial number, comma, C dot name, comma, C dot month ID, comma, C dot month, comma, E dot amount. We, I, we don't need month ID actually, we want only month column only. So we'll remove this and we have to do order by serial number and C dot month ID. So let me see what this query returns. So you can see we have got the desired result. So John, John in the month of Jan and Feb, he got 1000, 3000 res, uh, respectively and rest all other months he is having null. And for David, he got in March 4000 and in May 2000 because if you see the employee table, we will see the employee table. Sorry. See, we have month ID as 3 and 5, that is March and May. That's why we are having 4000 and 2000 respective value for the uh, David. So, if I run again once, so you can see over here for the month of March and May, we have 4000 and 2000 respectively, and rest all other columns are null. So, this is how we can solve this problem. If you know any other way by which you can solve this problem, please do write in the comment section. And thank you. Thanks for watching.